hello welcome back to my channel today as you can tell from the title of this video i bring you a book review let's get into it okay so i am reviewing this book oh my god is it good or is it bloody good it is so good trust me when i tell you that it is good so this brilliant, daring book um, is written in the first person and it follows the lives of Linda Nati, his two friends, Cecilia and Ruan, as they navigate through the city of Cape Town in South Africa. These three characters spend most of their lives either high or selling pharmaceuticals. Linda Nutty is the main character. He's a young black man who is HIV positive and who is haunted by his brother's death. I'm going to try not to be an absolute blabbering mess while shooting this video just because I think the book is, is so good and I'll try to make this review short as possible and not go on and on and on and on and on about it. Um, it's gonna be difficult but I will try so the very first reason I think this book is brilliant is because of the very first line once I read the first line I knew that I would be reading this book to the end once I read the first few pages I knew that I would love the story the introduction is brilliant <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say brilliant in this video, so please bear with me. The other reason I loved this book was because of his style of writing. He uses the most beautiful descriptions. Um, very poetic. There were certain lines that I had to go back and read again just because it was so beautiful. I had to save for them. The thing about the author, he is casually brilliant. He's not like one of those people who are, who show off their brilliance. Um, and this book, I feel, is the same way. It is casually brilliant. It's not trying to be boastful or trying to show off. Sorry. The plot and the story, they are perfection. Um, he dangles three carrots in front of you that keep you coming back. So the very first character he dangles in front of you is the fact that his brother died and he feels somehow he had a hand in his brother's death. By the way, this is not a spoiler because he tells you this in the first page of the book. The second carrot is his present life and circumstance. He is selling pharmaceuticals, he's constantly high, and he's HIV positive. So the entire time you can't help but wonder how he got here, how is this his life? So the third carrot that he dangles in front of you pertains to his future. He receives this text from his uncle and is something that he promised that he will do. So the text message is mentioned through the entire book and you keep wondering how will this text message affect his life so the story as you can gather is not linear at all it refers to the past it goes into the future comes back into the present it's yeah it's back and forth and i enjoyed that that rhythm the other reason this book is brilliant is because of the characters. I loved all the characters, specifically Cecilia. I just, I don't know what it say, what this says about me, but I related to her. She's like very like cynical and aloof and, you know, like these people who are illogically deep. You're like, what does that mean? Nobody knows what it means but it's provocative <laughs> that kind that kind of vibe i just absolute absolutely loved um cecilia i think he did a great job of establishing each character's individualism 
Um, but also at the same time, you could tell why these three characters would come together and be friends. I really liked the pace at which he um, gave us insights into into the characters. And like I said, Cecilia was was my favorite. I've I've got a long list. I want to mention so many things about this book, but I will say the last thing that I found brilliant for me um was you know he did such a great job of capturing Cape Town and I had such a fun time keeping track of you know all the places that he mentions are they still like that have they changed and he will describe things and I'm like huh I never thought about it that way so I think he did a great job of capturing the essence of Cape Town. So the only, only, only thing I had, yeah, I was just a little puzzled by this, was the, um, the guy in the mosque. I won't tell you too much about him, but I just, there was something about him that I found puzzling. And maybe that was the, maybe that was the point. Um, so clearly, this book for me is an absolute, absolute um, must read. There's nothing I love more than, you know, people who are daring and ambitious and just go for it. And I feel like this book is doing exactly that. Like the themes in the book, the way it's written, the plot and the story, the characters, the, ju ju the juxtaposition of certain things. I love the daring spirit of the book. So friends, that was my attempt at a somewhat concise review. I really wanted to keep it as short as possible because I could go on and on and on and on and on. Um, I hope you enjoyed this book review. Um, like I said, it's a must read. If you get it, please let me know. If you've read it, comment down below. That rhymed. Um, <laughs> anyway, friends, thank you so much for tuning in again. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for the love. Till next time, take very good care. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye.